Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this new tutorial about Roomba. In this video, I will show you how to use the new Roomba Picker tool. So the Picker tool is available in Roomba since version 1.1 and can be opened using the view menu in the tool window section right there or as usual with the shortcuts uh, uh, bar in the top right corner. So I will click on this. Uh, picker icon right there. Once opened, um, the picker will let you uh, choose between two options. So either you, you want to use a pre-crafted picker or create a brand new one. Uh, let's start with the, the creation first. So um, select the new picker option here. And uh, as you can see, I do have a blank space. So first uh, I'm going to create my first picker area. So I'm going to put myself in edit mode. So put yourself in this edit mode option right there. And then simply hit the add button uh, or use the context menu to, to add an area like there. So like this. This is my first picker area. Uh, you can resize it or move the area, uh, uh, but also change its appearance uh, using the context menu uh, like here or the attribute editor. So for example, I'm, uh, I'm going to turn it to a blue color. You can change the alpha as well uh, to put it a little bit transparency like this. Uh, it's really up to you. Um, if, if the shape doesn't suit you, uh, you are free to change it by using custom image speaker support standard image uh, format and SVG as well. A nice feature, um, you can directly drag and drop um, an image from your file explorer into the picker, like this one. Uh, and if you drop onto an existing area, it will simply change the associated image. Otherwise, um, it will create a new area like this. So areas can be organized in this uh, in the same page, or um, you can also choose to organize them uh, in a hierarchy. So simply double click on a, an already created area, and you can create a new one like theirs. And if you go back, you'll see that I created a hierarchy of uh, areas. So it's really up to you, and uh, you you do what you prefer. Okay, so next step, I want to link this uh, new area to, to a manipulator or to a controller onto my, my character. Uh, so if you already know um, the target name of your area, you can simply um, type the target name in the target uh, property in the, in the attribute editor or select both of them. Uh, for example, I will select the, the head of my character here and select the, the area I want to, to associate it with and then simply uh, use the context menu and assign the selected node like this. Uh, not if that, if, if a controller is already um, selected at area creation, uh, for example, this one, uh, it will automatically uh, as you said, this selected area um, manipulator to the new created uh, area like this. Okay, so uh, just turn off the edit mode and quickly test your, your picker. So now uh, I can see that I can select the associated areas uh, like this one. This one has no area, so I, I'm not able to select it. Uh, and if you choose to move or rotate it like this it's pretty neat so areas can be associated uh, with controllers manipulators and selection set um, you also have a script attribute right there in the attribute editor um, it will let you run a custom python script as soon as you will interact with this uh, area so to, to streamline the creation process, uh, you can also use the, the mirror option like this 
and it will uh, let you automatically mirror uh, the selected areas like this and if you turn off you'll see that this one move uh, the left hand and this one move the right hand uh, so it's it's really useful and uh, keep this in mind when you're creating your your picker okay finally uh, to create a full picker simply repeat this process uh, to design your your custom picker so now let's focus on the on the create uh, on the manipulation itself uh, for this I'm going to use the default picker uh, this one so as you can see Roomba provide a default picker uh, which uh, tends to uh, address most of the controls and, and manipulators you will be facing in a bipeds uh, context so this is based on the on the typical naming convention we use in uh, in Roomba uh, the picker so can be associated with an asset in your scene in two different ways so either you you let the the picker tool uh, update itself according to the last selected asset so here i just selected the c2 asset so it's it switched the the picker to the c2 context but if i choose to select a different asset in my in my scene like this miley character it automatically switches the picker and and update the picker according to the selected character you can do this again so pick c2 as you can see, I have tons of controls in my picker that I can, that I can uh, choose to move like this. This one. And if I decide to update the pose of my mighty character, I do the same. Um, if you prefer dealing with multiple pickers, you can also simply use the duplicate action, uh, which is it. In this menu here uh, it will create an extra picker that you can put uh, anywhere in your uh, in your UI and uh, this will let you manipulate two characters at the same time for example this one like this uh, you can also choose to remove this uh, automatic selection option and directly choose the character uh, within this menu here so okay um, that's all for this video tutorial on the Roomba Pika tool hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check the online documentation for more information um, those links are in the video descriptions so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you next time.